Dunn, who is currently recording me, and welcome to the video. Okay, so in this video, we're going to show you how to make your own homemade thermometer. So first of all, we're going to need an empty plastic bottle, it's just any old water bottle that you drink out of, um, two equal parts of rubbing alcohol and water, some red food coloring, a straw. Now, we would usually prefer a clear straw, but we didn't have that, so we're just using a normal straw. And some clay. Let's start making our homemade thermometer. So first, we're going to need our rubbing alcohol, and we're going to put that into the water, or the bottle, the water bottle, whatever. And now we're going to get the water, put that in. And now that we have that, just shake it up a little bit. And be sure not to smell it because it's pretty strong. And also, if you're dealing with rubbing alcohol, just make sure your parents are around because something bad might happen. Now you need your red food coloring. And just squeeze a few drops of that in. This is a little hard, so... Okay. Okay. Shake it up a little bit until it's all red. Now, the, the liquid content should make up one-fourth of the entire bottle, so that's about correct. So we can just place that there. And now, we're going to put our straw in. Now, this is really important, so pay attention. The straw should go in the water, but it can't be touching the bottom of the water bottle. So make it slightly above the bottom, so it's kind of like floating over. Finished product of our thermometer. Pretty easy to make, right? I just sealed off the top of the thermometer so that no air can get in, but no air can get out as well. And also be sure not to like seal the top of the straw because then it won't work. The thermometer won't work. And so now that that's done, we can just set that aside. And now we, it's our turn to start testing our thermometer. So I've got this hot bowl of water. I'm going to place it here. And I'm going to stick this, my thermometer, in the hot water. And let's see what happens. So as you can see already, the red water inside of the thermometer is already starting to rise. And this is because the heat from the hot water is being transferred inside of the thermometer. And so now because if, if you, something gets heated, the molecules start to expand, so the water starts to rise. Thanks for watching!